Hey y'all, this week we're going to talk about crock pot sizes, cooking up some dishes from goodness gracious in the future on our grill, as well as our weekly menu. All while having a whole lot of fun. Go. I have an idea. This camera is not stationary. No, it's made out of camera parts. Hi and welcome back to another edition of As Good As It Gets. I'm Chris. And I'm Mikey. And this is a weekly chat from our kitchen where we answer your questions. All oh, while having a whole lot of fun. Yeah. And what's the first thing that you would like to talk about today, dear lady? I think we need to do a little bit of updates. Um, we had a special guest this week on Cooking Chris's Dishes. Mm -hmm. um, on Tuesday last week, we had Aunt, Aunt Lou. Lou. And so she joined us to share one of our most popular recipes. And then we got a nice little note from Jason mm -hmm. um, that he had made it. And so let's show everybody a picture. Here are the pictures of the creamy chicken and rice. And if you haven't seen that video, we'll put a link down below. Yep, yep. yep. It was a pretty popular video this yes. week, too. Yes. Good job, Aunt Lou. We have that, and then we had the battle winner this week. Yes. Of Razzleberry. Mm hmm. It was very, very good. I took the uncooked one to work, and I cooked it at work, and everybody's like, hey, hey, what's in the pot? Hey, what's in the pot? What's in the pot? And uh, I did, uh, in fact, uh, one of our um, viewers said uh, that she thinks it would be really good with Blue Bunny homemade vanilla ice cream, and I actually took some of that to work as well as some chocolate fudge ice cream. Oh. Chocolate almond fudge, I think it was. And I tossed that in the freezer, and I turned on the crock pot, went to work, and then uh, about halfway through the shift, I went back here, and it was done. And I walked back into our office, and I said, Hey, y'all, uh, we've got some Razzleberry Crisp in the back if you want some. And it was like everybody decided to shut down the railroad, got up, went back there. I sat back at my desk because my desk was really busy that day. Because I'm a good little boy. Well, I, I just knew I had some things I had to get done before I went back and got mine. You're telling on all your co-workers. No, they didn't say. all just leave the railroad at one time, but they went back there and they got some. And then one of, one of my buddies comes back and he says, Mike, I guess it was real good because all I got was to lick the spoon. Aww. I never got any. Aww. I was sad. We but, feel so sad. And there was still some ice cream left over and it was good ice cream. <laughs> but it was really good. Oh. Um, but again, that like I said before, that recipe uh, that was done with a raspberry pie filling, you could so so do it with uh, multi berry pie filling or um, peaches. That's what I'd like to try. I'd like to do it with the peaches. Well, that was the other option, yeah. peach berry. Right. Y'all should go try them and let us know which one you think's the best. Let's move on. <laughs> okay. Um, this week, uh, you might have noticed there was no battle on Wednesday, mm -hmm. and that's because. Uh, Either if you're watching this on Saturday, then tomorrow is Easter. If you're watching it on Sunday, today, Happy Easter! Yes! And so um, we are on a little bit of a lighter schedule because we're not going to spend our holiday weekend um, doing videos and stuff like that. Yeah, so, so this uh, this past week you saw it might have been just, well, no, the, the full, we had a full week of videos. Pretty much. But this coming week... Um, it's probably going to be a little bit thinner. Uh, we might do a Cook and Chris's Dishes. We might not. I don't yeah. know. We're still here. We haven't left you. <laughs> but when we take the break the week before, well, that's when you suffer the week after. That's when we're going to be like so. But next week, um, starting with um, our weekly show, it should be a full week's worth yep. of content. We'll so a week stuff. from today or when you're watching this, then we should be back on track with the regular yep. schedule. Until then... We may be there, we may not. We're trying to we're trying to figure that all out. And then we'll have content for a couple weeks and then it might because get thin again because one of us is going on vacation and he's got a deck to refinish. Oh, I was gonna say That's he's me. also this weekend got some honeydew projects. He's gotta finish my desk. Yeah, you remember he, the picture of the desk already, that you guys saw? He's um, already drilled himself. Was this that morning. last was that last week? No, it was uh it was during the Razzleberry mm -hmm. um, where we showed you the picture of the desk that I did for her. Yeah. Well, she liked it. And then she said, why don't you just go ahead and refinish the whole thing? So I'm taking drawers apart and putting new handles on and drilling holes In through wood fingers. and through my <laughs> finger. I got a little cut over here. So if anybody wants to throw me some sympathy. Oh, we always, you know what Addie and I say, we always go, poor, poor putty. That's the, what we say. Yeah, uh, I love that. That's <laughs> awesome. I don't feel like that's true sympathy. <laughs> 
Um, so we're going to be back to normal next week. So there's no church song Sunday on Sunday, uh, on Easter Sunday, because again, we're going to be with family and enjoying that with the cameras mm -hmm. off. So it's okay to watch reruns. Yes, there's plenty. There's plenty of reruns. Mm -hmm. So you can go back to the beginning and enjoy all of that. So, yeah. but how about some reader emails? Hey, let's do some reader emails. All right. Reader emails. We are once again having technical difficulties with the printer. I think it's like drinking ink. Like, I know I just replaced it like a week or two ago, and now it's saying that it's completely, it can't print another page. Well, between me. you and Addie, you guys print stuff off constantly, I so. I don't know. I've got maps over there. Well, I mean, Addie prints stuff off for school all the yeah. time, but then she finds stuff that she likes to print off and read later. And yeah. Yeah. So, alrighty. Well, let's go with the first question. We're going we're gonna to do it from our phones. So, I've emailed him. The question mm -hmm. he's supposed to ask me, and then I have the um, question I'm going to ask you. So you well, go first. It comes from Dennis. Yes. And Dennis says, hi, Chris and Mikey. My question is this. I have the ninja <laughs> and want to know when a recipe says to put it in a five quart and my ninja is six and a half quarts, what do I have to do to adjust and watch for? Will it cook faster or will it hurt the recipe any? Also, I made pasta fagioli for the first time, and after adding all of the ingredients, it was up to the top of the Ninja, and I was worried, but when I added the pasta, it soaked up the liquid. It was so good, and when I brought my boss some, when he finished, he wanted more. <laughs> I hope we got you a raise, Dennis. <laughs> Yes, we love that, uh, mm -hmm. the pasta fagioli. Oh, it's really good. Um, so we thought we might talk a little bit about crock pot sizes because um, like last week we talked about uh, doubling recipes and this kind of goes along the same lines. So the rule of thumb is you can go smaller with the crock pot size um, as long as everything fits in it and it will probably cook longer because the fuller the slow cooker, the longer it will cook. Um, you can usually cook in a larger slow cooker, um, but you're going to have to reduce the time and sometimes it reduces it significantly. But it doesn't matter if it's bigger or the same size or smaller. I still, when you're first trying it in a new unit, always watch it because it may cook it faster or slower. Um, we're even hearing from readers and viewers now that they are experiencing the same thing that in one of their units things cook a lot faster and in another one it's cooking slower so um the way to remember um to think about it is like it's kind of like when you bake in the oven if you have a cake mix and you put it in a great big pan i'm sorry we are dinglinging tinkerbell <laughs> Uh, if you put a mix or any kind of batter in a great big pan. Did you say we were tinkling? <laughs> we were not tinkling. <laughs> we were twinkling. I'm, I'm getting... There's a difference. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Sidetrack. Just hit me. Uh, I can see the comments down below. Y'all were tinkling? <laughs> <sighs> it's been a long morning. Okay. Um, so... The way to think about it is your bigger slow cookers are the same as if you were baking in the oven. So if you use a smaller vessel in the oven or a smaller pan and you fill it way up, um, it's going to take longer to bake all the way through than if you were to put it in a, like say, like a jelly roll pan that's really big. The more it spreads out, the less time it's going to take it to cook. So that's, that's a general rule of thumb. And then, of course, units all cook a little bit differently. So um, not all six-quart recipes can fit in a smaller slow cooker. But obviously, all smaller dishes could fit in a six-quart. They're just going to cook a lot faster. So if you want to still cook them slower but use your bigger unit like your Ninja, you can put one of those oven safe bowls down in your Ninja or put it down in a six quart slow cooker and it'll help slow it down. But to specifically answer Dennis's question, converting a five quart recipe to a Ninja, excuse me, a Ninja size slow cooker, 
that's going to be pretty on par. Going from five to six quart isn't that big of a difference, but going from like four quart to six quart is when you're going to start to right. see a big difference. But again, always watch it. Always check your time and be able to watch it the first time you cook it. And once you know, oh, my ninja takes four hours to cook this, then you can, you know, the next time it's going to take four hours to cook it. But you just got to know how your unit works. Mm -hmm. So, cool. that's my answer. Now, we got another lovely email from Maureen. And I'm not going to read all of it. It's very, very sweet. But she did have a question for you, Mikey. About, um, let me find where it is, where, where I wanted to start. She said, I wondered about something. It's definitely the season for entertaining weddings, graduations, confirmations, family reunions, swim parties, etc. And they all have lots of people and lots of food and lots of cooking. So she's sure that many people utilize their crock pots on these occasions. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, but that she, it dawned on her when you were talking about your enthusiasm for um, grilling outdoors. And she's also kind of looked at some of the recipes on Goodness Gracious and noticed that we did a lot of grilling mm -hmm. recipes. And wondered if we might start including some of those on the show. Absolutely. So, we might venture outdoors, especially after you get that deck refinished. Yes, uh, here in a couple weeks I'm taking a week <laughs> of vacation and instead of going and getting some sun on a beach. I'm gonna get some sun on a back deck. Yeah. And I'm not even gonna do it laying down. Well, if I fall down, that's what probably happen. <laughs> you need to be careful. But uh, yeah, well, after I get the deck redone, we'll probably do some out outdoor shots, um, some outdoor videos of cooking and stuff like that. Yeah. I am not by any means a grill master. No. I do pretty well on the grill, but there's yeah. some really good recipes. Um, yeah. I might even make some, um, one of the rib recipes and show finish them on the grill or something like that. Yeah. Um, but absolutely, yeah, I mean, that's something that we're starting to incorporate more, and thank you for asking about that, Maureen. Um, we're going to incorporate more goodness gracious recipes on here as well as uh, the recipes from Recipes the Crock. Yep. Because we're not just a crock pot family. <sighs> not everything we eat comes from a crock pot. Guess what? Every once in a while, we have Chinese takeout. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I want to do more recipes. I want to show you some more of my mom's recipes as well. We've been talking about doing a Cooking Chris's Dishes, um, where actually we cook Gladys's dishes, and I make a very popular recipe around her house, which are her rolls. She's got a great yeast roll recipe, um, as well as a pecan roll recipe that I guarantee you they're to die for. People <laughs> wait for Christmas because they know mom's going to make a big batch of cinnamon or, or pecan rolls for them. Yep. So we'll do those. And then I kind of, I took uh, some of my mom's yeast rolls and kind of modified the recipe a little bit. Added oh, some bacon and cheddar. I was going to say, can you guess what he yeah, added? Yeah, bacon. Bacon. <laughs> but uh, they were very popular. Um, so yeah, absolutely. We'll be doing some more recipes like that. Um, as spring and summer approaches, a lot of people may not want to use their crock pots as much. We understand that. So we will absolutely uh, do some outdoor recipes. What is this blasphemy you talk of? <laughs> well, but here's the cool thing about your slow cooker, y'all. It's not just a slow cooker. What are you going to do with all them hot, those hamburgers that you grilled? Uh -huh. You see where I'm going? You see where I'm going? Well, and I was just, I, I, I think some of the crock pots, you might agree with me, that a slow cooker is the great as a great utensil or not utensil great appliance to have during the summertime so it doesn't heat up your kitchen mm -hmm. it's portable so it can come with you whenever you go to a lot of different places it is um something that um people use year round now there are there are some people who don't who think it's kind of like a fall like mm -hmm. type fall and winter thing but I know the crock posse's with me on this. That we we crock pot year round around here. Well, I'm with the we. <laughs> I'm just saying. Now, like Maureen said, she wants to see some other recipes besides. It. I get it. Oh yeah. But I'm, we can also show you how to keep it warm. I mean, like I like that idea. Hamburgers, your hot dogs. Yes. Your Our hot ribs. dog, the hot dog video, people really, really, really like. Hot dogs so, in a crock pot. Maybe the easiest could, thing we ever did. Maybe this summer we can just do some outdoor entertaining episodes where we do grilling mm -hmm. and outdoor crock potting and all that kind of stuff. I think that's a wonderful idea. Yes, we might even venture on to the Redneck Party Deck. Party on the Redneck Party Deck, come on <laughs> over! 
and and then the back deck where the grill actually is. That yeah. Well, we might have, we might have to move the grill to the back oh, party deck. Oh my goodness! That should be fun. No, we're no. not gonna do that. No. Okay. <laughs> Chris doesn't want me to burn the redneck party deck down. No, 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 no. Uh, Alrighty, well, it's time for the menu. And Aunt Lou actually wrote the menu and surprised me with it this week. So it should be... I, I did the board this week, but um, yesterday I was having a bit of a panic moment because oh, my yeah. computer got very, very sick and started making a wow, wow, wow noise. It died. It what, like... What was it? It, it? it gave up. It said, you've been working too hard on yeah. me. I am done. And so in a very panicked moment because I needed to get ready for today, I said, hey, Aunt Lou, could you pull a menu together for me? So she's got... She put together, she went on the site and picked out some things that she thought would go well for a week. So, and then I put them on the board today because I didn't have a computer. Uh, but I've got a new computer now. We're all good. One of us got to go shopping for new toys yesterday. <laughs> one of the other one of us is jealous now. Oh. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait till my computer starts making noises. Oh. Harumph. Is that why you were dropping the camera yesterday? No, that was Aunt Lou. Uh. <laughs> Aunt Lou dropped our camera. So if we're a little distorted... It's Aunt Lou. It's for fun. All kinds of craziness going on around here. Oh, Lordy. Hang on a second. It's Aunt Lou. Aunt Lou is... So so we're so we're doing our taping right now, and Aunt Lou has decided to call in the middle of our taping. What? Hello. Everybody say hi, Lou. Hi, Crack Posse. Did, did you hear him? I heard at least four of them say hi. You just said hi to your no. computer, laptop, and tablet. Really? <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Aunt Lou. <laughs> How is that happening? I did a video call. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's hey, there's Ryder. Say hi, Ryder. <laughs> Ryder, hey, four hi, four Crock million Posse. people just said hi. Say hi, Croc Posse. Can you say hi, Croc Posse? Uh, okay, we're going to be back. We'll be back. Ryder's being bashful now. All right, I'll talk to you later. Hey, hey Lou. Hi, hi. You hung up on that. Ryder. Oh. He said bye. Bad uncle. Anywho. Let's go to our weekly menu. That's a great idea. <laughs> Easter Bunny. <laughs> All right. Now, what are we going to have for lunch and dinner this All weekend? Alrighty. Aunt Lou picked out her cheesy party mix for the snack this week. That's something very popular. Lots of readers love that mm -hmm. one. Um, and then she picked out my blueberry breakfast casserole for... A Sunday's breakfast, and I think that is honestly Easter worthy. Absolutely. It, it's definitely a yummy, yummy, yummy dish. And, I, and blueberries should be pretty good this time of year, I would think. The blueberries are good any time of year. <laughs> <laughs> um, on Monday, she's got her buffalo ranch chicken nachos. She loves her some buffalo chicken. She makes buffalo chicken, all kinds of stuff. So there's that. And then on Tuesday, she picked out my tomato rice that we paired with um, the stuffed tilapia, you remember that? Mm -hmm. So a lot of people ask us about seafood, which we don't do tons of seafood in the slow cooker. But um, this has kind of like, uh, this is also good for people who want to make one to two servings instead of making a big pot of all kinds of stuff. Um, so that would be something to check out if you're interested in that yep. stuff. On Wednesday, we got leftovers or minestrone soup. And then on Thursday, we have Aunt Lou's Cheeseburger Pie, which she has converted from our oven version of the Impossible Cheeseburger Pie, I believe. On Friday, she's got her creamy Dijon mushroom pork, and I think we've had this on here before. It's yummy. She loves it, and the fact that it has mushrooms in it, and she loves it, is pretty amazing, because she's an anti-mushroom person. And then on dessert day, we have her brownie s'mores, because summer's a coming, so s'more time it is. Mm -hmm. That's our menu. Can I have s'more? Aww. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, my goodness. I still got it. You're awfully cheesy. <laughs> Alrighty, so no Church Song Sunday um, this week, um, and we might have a light week, but we'll see you again. We will be back um, next week. Chat for the weekly chat as well as Church Song Sunday and a yep. full gamut of comment. Of con, of a comment? comment? Yes. Oh, because we, we comment a lot. In fact, one of the ladies even said I probably talk in my sleep. <laughs> but uh, we'll have a full gambit. Gambit? Gambit? What's the... We're not good with We will today. have a full boat, if you will, 
So we'll be full of something. I'm sorry, I'm a little, I'm a little dingy this morning. But we're gonna have a lot of content starting the week after this, yes. uh, the week after Easter. That way, uh, we're can, we're getting a little bit of a break right now, but then yeah. we're gonna come right back at it with Cookie Chris's dishes and quickies and fun with Miss Ad and fun with Aunt Lou and fun with you and fun with me. There's more to see. Oh my goodness. I promise thee. Alrighty, send us your questions. Send us your comments. Bye. Goodbye. Say, let's go to our weekly menu. Say, let's go to our weekly menu. <laughs> you make it so much fun to edit. <laughs> I love him. Ah! No. Ah, hey, that's not what that spoon is for. Crock Posse shout out.